movement will it start or will it start it's a fighter jet come on do i know how to drive a mig fighter jet no do i want to learn yes i got an email from a guy that said he saw something on facebook marketplace and immediately thought of me i'm now on my way to the airport to go to memphis to go check these planes out welcome to memphis Behind me is a fighter jet that I'm here to see if I'm gonna buy. How insane is that? And yes, it flies. You guys think we can pull this thing out and see if we can't get it fired up? We'll try. We're gonna give it a whirl. We gotta open some stuff up and look at some things. There we go. Why there was a five man Russian crew doing this. Oh. I don't know why it didn't move when they hit it. <laughs> you got about 9,000 pounds sitting right there. That's good. I have a mirror in my truck just in case. You can pretty uh, much see everything. The controls are hooked up. I the hope so. pin. All right, there's where you pull the engine oil in. There's your dipstick. And it's full. Oh yeah, it's right there. What he was telling me is that we take these panels here, there's six of them, take them off, and from this line, the whole tail section, all of this comes off and slides off, and the engine and everything does the engine stay, yeah, the engine's connected to the fuselage, yeah. so you can uncover the engine and get to everything. It's deceiving because this sucker is like six feet in diameter, but it doesn't look like it from here. And that engine is all of that. It's huge. Man, this is cool. There you go, and the other side's Main gear and flaps. Truck, yeah. So that is the intake for that jet engine. Yeah, there's no mice, droppings, nothing. I only see a spider or two. So Matt, this is to ground it whenever it's on the ground for yeah. static and yeah, stuff, static right? Discharge. Yeah, static sta discharge. Static discharge for when you land and, all, and when it's sitting there. So yep. you don't have to naturally ground it. Mm-hmm. Taking my cans out and putting these concords that are in here and there. What? Hit me in my nose. So block. Now, these are more. Did, he, did we put nitrogen there or oxygen? I don't know. That's remember. extra nitrogen for the nitrogen. brakes. That's brakes. Uh, this was a if you landed somewhere and they didn't have nitrogen. Uh, like I said, he was a fanatic about extras on top of extras. So is this not part of the original? No, no, no. That's ours. Oh. Oh, yeah. And it don't take a lot. Oh, it's a lot easier with the drill, though. A lot easier coming down than going up. That's what I was going to say. And so you come about right there, and then you have to disconnect the batteries. Look at this latch system that holds this thing. Oh, I, yeah, just for the just to hold, hold the battery up. tray up. Well, you got to remember what it well, used to hold up way more than this. Tray. Oh, that's right. This is where the this is where the gun were. and the ammo and stuff went. Oh yeah. You see, these fairings right here were different. These were mm -hmm. to have the bulges in them for the guns. Yeah. Either time. <laughs> Not only is there the airplanes, there's the semi truck trailer they say is full of other stuff. Holy moly. That's your motor. This one? Uh-huh. Uh, for the, the no. T6? No, that's your motor. Oh, this is the other jet engine. Yeah. Holy moly. Oh, here's that canopy that flew off. Uh-huh. Oh, that is not light. 
look how thick that Lexan is. That's a T6 one right there. Yes, a canopy off a T6. I have a bunch of T6 parts. Yeah. That's it. That's that set of propeller blades Matt was telling you about where the fellow pulled the props up right here. Oh, whoa. Those are not the new Q-tips. Wow, yeah, that are nice, nice roller right yeah. there. Well, now you kind of got an idea how big it is inside that. Yeah, really? That's unbelievable. My fire extinguisher, they said, was not adequate. Shout out to Derek uh, with some vice grips. I mean, come on, will it start ever? And uh, Jason, nice 401 you got there. Come on, game on. I've, I've this is not as hot at all, and I had this thing sitting right here. I figured it was gonna cook it. So did I. I feel that's why I put my one, my old one on there. I'm like, well, if I lose one, at least it won't be that big of a deal. I thought it was gonna. But not, it's not even hot. What would it take 
to get this thing flying again besides repairing a little bit of sheet metal basically just going through the going through the maintenance program it has to go through it's a, either a 100 hour or a 12 month inspection it's got to go through and then it's airworthy after that in the drop tank yeah we do know how to put it on a truck and trailer or just drive it down the highway. We can do that too. That. But there is a pretty in-depth maintenance inspection program that's FAA approved just for this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't smoke at all. Well, I was, I was expecting it to, but it didn't even puff. No, It just nothing. started throwing heat. Got to put it in reverse. Do I know how to drive a MiG fighter jet? No. Do I want to learn? Yes. I need your help. Thumbs up if I should buy this one. I sure hope you say yes. I honestly have no idea just how terrible of a decision this is. But I have a feeling I'm about to find out. We got a bonus for you. We're gonna do a will it start on this one. It's also not flown in about 10 years, give or take. However, Matt, the other guy here, you've seen him with a beard, he is taking care of it. Uh, he'd run it up, I think he said two years ago was the last time he ran it up, but he would change the fluids and keep up on stuff and things like that. So, I mean, honestly, it should start up pretty good. I will point out that he is looking to sell this. So if anybody out there is interested in one of these, my contact info is in the description. Shoot me an email and I'll connect you guys. But I'm excited. 541 turbocharged and intercooled like homing. 541s is what they are. Oh man, I forgot my signature. That's the real one. With the, the jet. I even wore the shirt and everything. Ah, well you can do it with this one. Ah, we can actually do it with this one. All right. Here you go, now that is an aviation rack right there. Golly, go on. That's a bunch. Oh, those are nice seats. Here, yeah, there you go. Oh, clip prop. Can I get a clear prop? See if we can buy in bulk and get a package deal. We still got another airplane to look at. Before we go and do our deal with that jet airplane, how awesome is that? We're now headed over to the other airport where he has a T6 at least. And we're gonna see if we can't look at that one. Maybe we'll try to get that one started. Good Lord. That's all I gotta say. 